Hey, what's going on, boys? So, just got me some gas. Thank you, Joe Biden. Got me a Fit Crunch and some chocolate milk. And we're gonna go do some stuff today. I got uh, I got one film set to hang up on some property before deer season starts in two weeks, or less than two weeks, week and a half, or yeah, about a week and a day. We can two days, something like that. Anyway, then I gotta go uh, shoot my shotgun and uh, pattern my tact cam camera to where my gun's shooting. So hang with me, boys, and maybe we'll get into something. Who knows? Thank you for tuning into the channel, Tater Ridge. Subscribe to the channel, like, share with your friends. As always, peace, love. Mwah. So basically up here in this mountain country hill appalachian american uh it's all mountains so you know if you ain't got white oaks or something up in here there really ain't a whole lot to hunt food wise so what we have done we got this little piece of property and we have cleared her out by god we've made us a plot of food we just just have planted it into some stuff that Looks like it's, it's come up, and if it rained, it'd really come up, but uh, there ain't nothing up here, to, ain't really nothing up here for food except for some red oaks and that yellow encouragement. But, uh, so we're gonna go up here. We've hung ourselves a little set. Huh. I tell you, no, you've hung a tree stand, because when you can't even see it, and you ain't 40 yards from it. But, uh, we're gonna hang our film stand in this food plot for, you know, for bow season and uh, maybe get a, a bear kill on camera or, you know, something like that. So let's get it. All right, bros, first things first. You better be safe if you're gonna start climbing trees. So I always wear my tree saddle when I'm gonna climb up something and hang a stand especially. But uh, you need you always need to be strapped in some somehow or another. I've hung a lot of tree stands not strapped in and it's just not smart. So make sure that you are wrapped up in a tree harness or a saddle. This is what we're This is what we're hanging. This old millennium sun. If we're going, I like to film out of something that's big enough to move around in. If this was like a public land setup, I'd buy one of the little cheap little Walmart ones, but it's the millennium for this case. And you see, it's got, I got these backpack things on the back too. So usually I would tie a rope to the stand and pull it up and I still may do it, but I'm going to probably use these to get up the tree uh, while I'm climbing it to hang it. So, big props to Millennium for doing something worth doing there and putting some backpack straps on the back of them. So basically what we got boys we've shucked up the tree don't come at me for having gloves on I almost ripped my pinky off yesterday getting it caught in one of these things but uh, I've got my lineman belt attached to the tree that way I do not fall out and I have both hands free and uh, basically I'm gonna end up doing swinging this thing over my shoulder and uh, getting attached to the tree
All right, homies. So basically all I did, climb up here and throw this thing up on a tree. I'm not an expert on putting up lock on stands, so it might take me a little longer than it would most folks. But uh, we got her hung. I don't like these chain ones. I mean, yeah, they're good for whatever, but I'm a ratchet strap kind of guy. But this is what I kind of got for my film set up. Just got some sticks going up here, about 24 foot. Got this old, old one that I hung up here just because I didn't have nowhere else to put it. And then I got this one hung right beside it. So I know you're thinking, well, but cameraman will sit right here and he'll be able to film on my whole plot back in here. But, uh, you know, heck, maybe it won't work. Maybe it will work. Boys, I'm telling you, you always need to be strapped in with, it, you know, at least one. I keep, I keep this strapped in and I keep my lineman's belt around the tree. That way I'm hands free and won't fall out of this sucker. But that's how we get some film setups hung before deer season. Well, we got her did. Honestly, from the time I got up there, it didn't take me about 10 minutes to do. Uh, and that was with me having to hang the Millennium that I towed it up there and put more straps on the Millennium and straps on that other one I got up there. But um, normally I would never hang my stand 10 foot off the side of where I was hunting. I like to be in the woods a little bit, but there is not any good trees right here. And plus the way this land lays, it's up and down. So if I went down the hill, 24 foot section of sticks wouldn't get me, but like eye level with whatever I was shooting at. But uh, that's what it is. I mean, you got two stands up in there. Realistically, it's probably the best I'm gonna get. Then I can shoot my plot out here should have planted a little later than I did. My clover burnt up, but I got some stuff planted out there that's doing pretty good. But uh, yeah, I mean, I can, from that stand right there, I can cover 40 yards, just about covers a lot of what I expect the deer to be coming out of. But there she is, right tucked up in there. I mean, it's not so bad. It ain't so good, I don't really, I don't really like it, but it's the best I'm gonna get. So that's how you hang safely, efficiently, and not falling out of the tree.